Hi everyone, my name is Chanel from PinchMeTwice.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make pecan pie cookies. We're going to start off making the cookie dough. You're going to need all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, real butter, shortening, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and eggs. Okay, in a bowl you're going to beat your butter and shortening until it is creamy. Make sure the butter is room temperature. Next, add in your brown sugar along with the vanilla extract and beat with the mixer until everything is well blended. Go ahead and add in your eggs. Some people like to beat them one at a time. You can do that if you prefer. Last, make sure you combine your baking soda and salt to your all-purpose flour. Then pour that flour mixture in and beat well. As you are mixing, you're going to want to scrape down the sides of your bowl as you go so that all of the ingredients will be incorporated. Okay, now you're going to cover your bowl and refrigerate your cookie dough for one to two hours. While your dough is in the fridge, let's make the pecan pie filling. You're going to need chopped pecans, more brown sugar, heavy whipping cream, and more vanilla extract. In a different mixing bowl, you're going to combine the chopped pecans and the brown sugar. Next, you're going to add in the vanilla extract and the heavy whipping cream. You can use a fork to mix the ingredients together. Okay, after your cookie dough has been in the fridge for an hour or two, it's time to fill them. You're going to drop the cookie dough onto a baking sheet. I used a cookie scoop to form my dough, and my baking sheet is lined with parchment paper. Both of these items can be found at Walmart, Target, or Amazon, which I will link below. Use your thumb to make an indentation in each ball of dough. and fill it with about one teaspoon of pecan filling. We will also be adding a bit more filling later. Next, you're going to bake your cookies for 10 to 12 minutes in a preheated 350 degree oven until they are lightly browned. Before the cookies cool completely, add on a bit more pecan filling. Okay, this last step is completely optional. We're going to make a caramel drizzle. You're going to take some caramel candies and heavy whipping cream, heat them in a microwave at 20 second intervals, and stir until the mixture is smooth and it has a drizzling consistency. Reheat the caramel if it gets hard, but be very careful because it can get very, very hot. I poured my caramel in a decorating squeeze bottle, but you can also use a Ziploc bag with a small piece of the corner cut out. These cookies are delicious and perfect for fall. 
So give this recipe a try. I want to thank you all for checking out my very first video. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe because I have a lot more in store. Check out my blog, pinchmetwice.com, and follow me on Instagram and Pinterest at pinchmetwice.